So I want to share this morning about a woman who is inspiring for all of us, a woman who's been on mission for God, and her name is Hannah Moore. You're liking it. Now I want to take you back to Britain, and this is a dinner party, and a woman walks in to this dinner party, party Hannah Moore, and she takes a pamphlet out of the folds of her dress and she puts it on a table in front of her dinner guest and she said have you ever seen the inside of a slave ship and what this pamphlet showed was the Brooks slave ship where they would put the Africans in the hold of the ship so tightly together like sardines that the that the men and women could not even put their hands by their side and this was the image that went all over Europe at the time of what was going on in the slave trade. And Hannah Moore became an incredible mission-driven woman to abolish the slave trade. Now, Hannah Moore was born in 1745. She was one of five children. Her parents were school teachers. There was five girls. And they homeschooled all five of their girls in a time when girls were not educated. And from a very early age, Hannah loved to write. She would write poems as a very little tiny girl. She would write essays. And every birthday, she said, Mom and Dad, the only thing I want for my birthday is I want paper because I want to be able to write. Now, Hannah Moore grew up. She kept writing. And her writing, her plays, her essays became so well known that the, all of society and the, and the British elite and the wealthy loved her plays and loved her writing. But it wasn't until 1780 that her life was transformed. And this is when she met John Newton. John Newton was a former slave trade ship captain. And he got gloriously saved. He's the one that wrote Amazing Grace. And he ministered to her and she recommitted her life to Christ. And this is what John Newton said to Hannah Moore. Hannah, you have great gifts. Now believe in the giver of gifts and do the work in the public sphere. You see, Hannah Moore could have used her gifts for herself, these writing gifts, but she, did, she offered them up to God. She leveraged them for the kingdom of God. And what happened was she became so passionate to abolish the slave trade that she wrote a poem called Slavery, and she, it went all over Britain. And at the time, most Britons did not really understand what was going on in the slave trade. They didn't understand the suffering that was going on. They didn't understand the men, the women, and the children that were being uh, tortured. And so she wrote these poems, and, that, and all the British society all of a sudden had an awareness, and their consciences were pierced. And thousands and hundreds of thousands signed petitions to say, we will not allow this evil to go on in our nation. And what's so powerful is that Hannah Moore, along with William Wilberforce, who became her friend, and John Newton and, and many of their friends, they all worked together and they abolished the slave trade. Right before she died, Parliament went to vote and said, we are, we are stopping slave trade altogether. And Hannah Moore, many historians say it was because of her writing to, to pierce the conscience of a nation that the slave trade was abolished. Let me tell you something. Again, I want to share what John Newton said. You have great gifts. Now believe in the giver of gifts and do the work in the public sphere. There are some of you out there who are going to write something that's going to change your generation. There are some of you out there that are going to plant something that's going to change your generation. There's some of you out there going to give, they're going to change your generation. You are going to speak and change your generation. You're going to start a business that multi-millions of dollars are going to flow through to fund the kingdom of God around the world. You are going to create something. You are going to paint something that is going to change your generation. Christian, God has a mission for you like Hannah Moore. She could have used it for herself, but she leveraged everything. She offered it up to God to change the world for Jesus. And this is what God has for you. And so as we go, as we pray and we give our tithes and offerings, I want you to get excited. I want you to pray and say, God, as I offer my tithe, as I give this offering, use it for the kingdom of God. And we just thank you. I want to pray for you right now. Jesus, 
We thank you, Lord, for the blessing, the opportunity to be able to give tithes and offerings right now. We bring in the whole tithe, not a little, but the whole tithe to God. And we thank you that you're going to bless it. God, use us like Hannah Moore. Use the gifts, the callings that you have on our life to, to impact the world for the kingdom of God. And Lord, I do pray that you would bless everyone who gives today with promotions, with inheritances, with job, uh, if they're underemployed, full-time employment, with um, bonuses. God, bless every giver. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Well, thank you so much for your giving. We, have, we can give by push pay via, via phone, 77977. You can text 77977. You can also give to, to our secure website, everynationcitychurch.com, and the old-fashioned way by sending a check. Church, I love you. You're amazing. Praying for you that God will call, just use this message today with Pastor Dave to powerfully impact your life. God bless.